Hi. Hey, Duke and Jackson. Grandma here. We're going to read out of the big book that Grandma sent to you, the biggest story, Bible story book. I'm going to read to you a story that's on page 332, chapter 62, The Scary Boat Ride. This is out of the Bible, and it's out of Mark 4. Um, it's part of the Bible. This is a story about Jesus when he was in a, a boat, and they had a bad storm. One night after a long day of teaching, Jesus and the disciples hopped in a boat to cross the Sea of Galilee. The sun was setting, and there were a number of other boats with them. They were looking forward to a quiet night across the lake after a busy day, but as it turns out, they were in for a night that they would never forget. Partway across the big lake, a great windstorm arose. The winds grew bigger and bigger, and the boat was filling up with water. Oh my goodness, can you imagine rocking back and forth and all the water filling up the boat? They were afraid. Jesus disciples were fishermen. They were used to being in boats with water, and it must have been a wild storm to make them so afraid. Look at the picture there. Look at that water going everywhere. I would be very afraid if I was in that boat too, I think. And almost everyone was really, really afraid. Almost, almost, but not everyone. There was one man that wasn't afraid of the storm, and he was fast asleep in the back of the boat. That man was Jesus, and the disciples didn't like that he was sleeping. This is the only time that we read of Jesus being asleep in the Bible, and sure enough, it's in the middle of a giant storm. Earlier in the ministry, Jesus had been awake praying when everyone else was asleep. Now he was asleep when everyone else was definitely awake. Teacher, they shouted, don't you care that we're all going to die? Oh my goodness, they were so afraid of that storm. So much for Jesus' catnip. He woke up, and that's just what his disciples wanted. But then Jesus did something that none of them were expecting. He stood up, and he put his hand out, and he said to the wind, Peace, peace, be still. He rebuked the wind and the sea. What a strange thing to do, shushing a storm, but that's exactly what Jesus did. And you know what? The storm listened. Immediately the wind stopped blowing and the sea stopped churning. Everything was calm. Everything, that is, except for the disciples. They were afraid. Who is this that even the wind and the waves obey him, they asked. They had seen Jesus do some crazy things, but this was downright scary. If the creation listened to this man, maybe he was the creator. Jesus was no ordinary man. He was unlike any other the disciples had ever met with power unlike anything they had ever seen. But Jesus wasn't interested in teaching them about weather. He wanted them to learn about faith. What Jesus did in the boat had no reason. With Jesus in the boat, they had no reason to fear. With Jesus in their corner, they could, be, they could face the future. No matter the storm and no matter how much he seems to be sleeping, Jesus will always be with us. Let's say a quick prayer here. Fold our hands. We cry out to you, O God, that you would be our calm in the midst of a storm. Amen.